Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here again, coming to you with uh, week four of our small gear and, and tips videos. Um, I'll be doing 13 weeks of this, and uh, so far I've had some real positive feedback, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, as you know, on Fridays I'll put up a video on small gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking, backpacking. and on Monday I'll put up a video on essential gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. Again, YouTube tells me you watch them for about four minutes, so I'll try to keep this at or below the five minute mark so that we keep your attention. So without further ado, here's today's Friday small gear and tips video. I'm sure you're all familiar with Mountain House. And for those of you who are looking for another option, Heather's Choice is a great option too. I've heard great things about the salmon, uh, sockeye, uh, smoked salmon um, chowder and these pack rooms. I will do a more full and in-depth video on these, um, so stay tuned, but that's not really what we're talking about today. Today, what I'm talking about are, for those of you who are a little bit pickier eaters, what do you do in the backcountry? Well, I certainly like biscuits and gravy in the morning, but if you just take a little Tabasco and throw that in there, it can change the whole meal, especially if you're eating it every morning on a seven-day hunt. Same thing with hot sauce, honey, and... Even some olive oil will grab some much needed calories in the backcountry. Simple salt and pepper, that's all you need for back straps or um, grouse. This is made by GSI. I've never had it leak. It holds salt and pepper, plenty for seven days of backpacking. For those of you who have trouble drinking water and you know you need to stay hydrated, I like to take these little mixers. Um, I like the Berry Propel um, water from Gatorade as well as just these half and half Arnold Palmers. Um, just mix them up. So if you're feeling like, ah, I can't drink anymore, just straight water. Sometimes uh, you need something different. Coffee in the morning, I really haven't found anything better than these via instant, um, but you want the latte ones, like the, either the French vanilla, or the vanilla latte, the mocha latte. These are white chocolate mocha. These are good. Um, if you just want a black coffee, uh, you can certainly do that. Just instant coffee can change change everything. Um, I've had really good luck with Mountain House. Um, some people say they're really hard on their digestion, but I really, I, I haven't felt that. Um, I've really only had one bad experience and I just think it was, uh, an odd, odd time. But, um, I can tell you that, uh, you know, if you're out fishing and you have this with you, just a little bit of oil, that, some tin foil, you can make pretty much anything you'd like to eat in the back country. Um, nothing like, uh, just a little bit of change of pace to make you feel more energized and ready to go for the next day. Um, so, again, just a small tip. Um, you can get these pretty much anywhere. I know they make the olive oil in packets like this. I've seen them on Amazon too. These obviously are from Chick-fil-A, but the next time you're at fast food, just grab a couple extra ones and toss them in your pack. Take it out, see if it uh, helps you mix up what you're you're eating in the back country. Um, for those of you who like Mountain House, stick with it. Um, I haven't had good luck with the eggs breakfasts, but this biscuits and gravy, especially if you dial back the amount of water, and really you should do that in all of the Mountain House, so dial back the water just a little bit and it won't be as soupy. If you dial back the biscuits and gravy, um, you can actually get a little bit of a crunch in them. Tastes fantastic. So more um, direct uh, review and in-depth review on this Heather's Choice stuff. I've heard fantastic things about it, so I'm really excited to do it, but I want to do it out in the back country, so it's a, a fair test to them, I guess. Um, you know, you can get the pro packs where the, the air is sucked out of them. Sometimes that works. Really, you can just poke a hole in it, fold them, put a piece of tape on them. So if you don't want to spend the extra money for the pro packs, go ahead and pass on that. But definitely try to mix them up with a little bit of variety. Um, so that's it. Uh, any comments or questions or if you'd like to share tips you have um, down in the bottom, please uh, feel free to do so. What are we missing? <laughs> um, but if you have comments or questions, let me know in the comments section. If you like this video or the idea of Friday small gear and tips and Monday essential gear and tips, please let me know by hitting the like button. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram under the handle Colorado Hunter Hiker. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can do so by clicking down in this corner. There will be a little icon that comes up. It's the Colorado Hunter Hiker symbol. Um, and uh, you'll get notification of future videos. So 
If you like this, check out the other tips and the other videos on the channel and uh, let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll get back with you. Thanks, guys and gals. Have a great day.